So, a new video, and not really a jump to dash one. Let's skip the part where I tell you how much I had no ideas or was too lazy to upload. Honestly, I'm still waiting for 2.2, so I could upload some cool video about it, but it still hasn't came out in like 3 years of waiting, so I'm just uploading this. At some point, maybe like a year ago or more, someone on Discord just suggested me to play chess on some website. And we just played. I'm pretty sure I lost and that was it. During that time or after that, at some point, I've been getting into programming and hacking and all that stuff. A bit into how artificial intelligence works and then just randomly got the idea to, hey, what if I write an AI to play chess on that website that played a long fucking time ago? And I just decided to do that. Now, I really don't want to bore you with the details and stuff, but I'm gonna explain some stuff on how it works, kinda, or what I did to make it work. I went on that website and I looked into what kind of HTTP request it sends with the Chrome developer tools. And then I wrote a script to do that for me instead of using the browser. And then instead of playing myself, I wrote a little program that would play the best move it could find. And then I just made it play for me as long as I want. The program just looks four or five moves ahead and from all the possible combination of moves it picks the one that results in the best outcome. If you try to have it look more than five moves ahead it would take like 10 minutes or more depending on the board. So it's not exactly efficient it's just really simple. I had it play against a few players in a round where both players had 15 minutes in total to pick their moves and if I remember correctly it lost the first one and then won like three in a row after that and then I just let it play more. It had some errors with not exactly detecting when the pawn turns into a queen or when the king switches with the rook because of how the website sends data. So the board that my program sees wouldn't be identical to the actual board. And then when it would attempt to send some move, the website would consider it invalid and then it would just keep sending the same move over and over, which would make me run out of time and lose. But I ended up fixing most of them, except for the one where the pawns moving two squares ahead would mess up some shit or just wouldn't be allowed at all. If I'll find this screenshot of me watching the replay of the match where I moved my pawn two squares ahead and it showed that I did in the replay but it was captured by the enemy pawn as if it was in a different square. I never figured out what the problem was so it just made the pawns never move two squares ahead and there was a little problem with that in situations where moving a pawn two squares ahead was the only way to protect my king so after I moved anywhere else the website would classify it as an invalid move because if I don't defend my king it counts as losing and one once again I would run out of time and lose. Besides that it was working fine. So when I decided to make this video I came back to the to the program and I tried to run it again and the thing was that out of nowhere it asked for a captcha to verify that I'm not a bot and since I was a bot I had no idea how I should verify. I was disappointed because I couldn't record any videos of how the thing actually worked and I tried to come up with various things to trick the website that I'm not a bot but nothing worked and I still haven't figured out how the website figures out that I'm a bot but I fixed it by logging in with the browser and then just saving my cookies and using the same cookies as the browser and everything worked perfectly but that's enough of the technical stuff on the website you can select how much time the players would have to play and the minimum was one minute for each player so if any player runs out of their one minute they would lose and the game would be at most two minutes long one minute for each player which was perfect for the bot since if it only looks four moves ahead it could make a decision in like under a second really quick. I tried to run it for a couple games to see how it goes and it pretty much beat any opponent it played against. I just imagined the reactions of the opponents. Playing against a player who picked their moves in like under a second and not just any random moves but moves that kinda made sense. That did not mean that the bot was good though since this website had a ranking system and each player starts with 1000 ranking points of some kind and they get some points for winning and lose some points when they lose. I think the best players on the website have around 3000 points and since I was winning with a bot I started playing against better players and the most points it got was around 1700 and then it would just sometimes win sometimes lose and it would balance out. After seeing it play a couple of one minute games I had it run for the whole night to see how it goes and how much ranking points it would collect. And the number of points it had when I came back in the morning was around 1700. And half the games it played after that were wins and the other half were losses. So it didn't really climb much after that. 
Honestly, the most hilarious part was a few messages I got from the people I played against. Some person called me a coward and a wood pusher twice. I didn't know what the term wood pusher meant and I googled it and apparently it's some kind of thing that means that I just make random moves. Since the bot was making moves in like under a second, it, the person would just assume that I was making random moves. But another person got really fucking mad and just sent me like six messages. Find something else to play. Just an advice, what you are doing here is not chess. I have been reported engine player. You are not a chess player. Find some other game. I told you, you have no clue about chess. I don't know what is wrong with you. Honestly, you would assume that this person would realize that I'm a bot since my name is literally human person 6969, but they just kept sending me messages. And I didn't specifically look at the games I played against this person, but I would assume that I just lost because he just ran out of time or something. Also, I got a couple messages from the actual website saying that I was reported for trash talking twice. And that's fucking stupid because I never sent a, an actual message in the chat with the account and the website should be able to detect that or something. But it just sent me a message because someone reported me and that's kind of stupid. And, and, and the worst part is that people reported me for trash talking and not for botting or something. And then some person I actually played against apparently violated fair play policy, which is, I don't know, cheating or something. And it gave me extra points, but it somehow wasn't able to detect my botting, which is fucking weird. And after that night, it was kind of just it. I had the bot play a bit more and looked at the games where it lost. And even though some games were because it couldn't make a move, a lot of them were really just against players who were better than the bot because they, they probably just play a lot. As I said, uh, at least I think I said, I'm, I might have forgot, but I originally wanted to make it an AI, but I just made, made it a simple bot at first because it's, it's way simpler and stuff. And I wanted to maybe change it to an AI later, but I just never got around to do that. So if anyone is actually interested in me making an AI and see if it could beat like the better players on this website and maybe like, I don't know, just play a lot until it gets banned. Tell me in the comments because I might actually consider making that. And this whole bot thing, uh, the connection which was written in Python and the bot that makes the moves which was written in C++ is on GitHub. And if I won't forget, I'll link it in the description. Description. And if you if you're actually interested and actually want to talk about this bot with me, you can join my server and just DM me. And if you don't want to talk about it, still join my server and subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And and I I'd actually like appreciate some feedback on this video since it's not a GT video and it's like something else. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.